Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. I'm here with the Lenovo S10 netbook. In this video, I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on netbooks, what they are, how to use them, and well, who would want one. So first of all, what is a netbook? A netbook is a low-cost laptop computer. This one right here is around $400. The point of a netbook is to have something that's low-cost, and you don't run necessarily a lot of applications directly from the hard drive. So you can have a smaller hard drive, maybe an SSD for increased performance. So what you would do with this is, hence net, you're basically going online for all your needs. So you'd have all your online documents in maybe a Google Docs type thing. You'd watch your content on a YouTube or Hulu type of deal. And you're not really using a lot of things outside of the browser. So again, low cost, made for the net. So again, most of the time you're going to have Wi-Fi built in. And these computers, again, since they're low cost, they're also supposed to be small and compact. Besides using an Intel Atom processor for their performance, of course. So, this is actually a 10.2 inch screen. A lot of netbooks are actually in that 8 inch range. I think 10 is probably the lowest you want to go, but also the highest in terms of netbooks. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going above 10 or below 10 if you're looking for a netbook computer. So, this 10.2 inch screen is pretty good. So, you're looking for something with that has a pretty good battery as well. So, aim for a 6 cell. Don't get the 3 cell. Get the 6 cell. You want to get as much usage out of it. Because how you use the netbook, besides just going online, it's, you, it's really to supplement a desktop computer. So I would not say that for your only machine to get a netbook. What I would say is to invest in a powerful desktop computer that will allow you to use the netbook to supplement it. So if you have a powerful desktop, you can do your video editing, your photo manipulation, your heavy intensive stuff on there. But then on the go, you drop this low-cost netbook in there. You can access your things, all your documents from the cloud, if that's what you're into. And you can check your email. You can go to YouTube, go to Hulu, go to NBC, go to, go to anything you want uh, via the Internet. So how do I personally use it? Besides doing that, what I like about this laptop is you can just put it around somewhere in your house where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people going. And if they need to check something, they just quickly open up the netbook, type it into Google, do whatever they got to do, and then when they're done, they close it and the computer hibernates until, again, somebody else needs to use it, and they open it up, press the power button, and it comes out of hibernation. So the six-cell battery is really key because in that, in that, in my situation, I can just leave this downstairs in a high-traffic area for maybe two or three days before I need to worry about charging it. A three-cell may become a, a, a one-day deal, in which case it's not really worth it for me. So again, to supplement your computer and to get quick and easy browsing wherever you are. So would I recommend a netbook? If you can afford to have a desktop or a powerful laptop plus a netbook, then I would recommend a netbook. Do, but do you need, but what's my ideal scenario? Really, there's no reason to have a laptop if you're going to use a netbook. Because unless you need a lot of power on the go, you really don't do a lot on the go. You just need to maybe access some things on the go. In which case, the netbook is perfect for you, and you can do all your heavy lifting and such at your house in the comfort of your own home on that powerful desktop machine. And in that regard, you could actually end up saving some money because higher-end laptops are expensive. You can get the same usage out of it that you would, and you can end up having a more powerful primary machine in your desktop. Plus, with a laptop, you have to worry about securing and backing up and hoping nobody steals your private information if your laptop is lost or damaged, in which case you lose all of that data. So having a low-cost netbook where everything you access is from the cloud, you don't have any worries about that. So if you lose your netbook, somebody steals it, you just change your password from the cloud and, nobody has, and you don't have to worry about it again. Because even if they can log back onto the netbook, you don't have to worry about your data getting stolen. So I actually didn't go went in thinking what's the point of a netbook, and I've already outlined that in this video. But I have to say, using this idea pad, my ideas has totally changed, and I highly recommend netbooks. Netbooks are really an interesting venture, and one that I'll be continuing to pursue and researching, learning about, and po and hopefully using again in the future after this Lenovo. I think it's it's a th it's something that. Some people won't like the, the small group of people that actually need a lot of power on the go won't need this, won't like this. But the people that like to have a lot of power in some situations, but then in other situations they just need to access a few documents or whatever on the go, then a low-cost netbook is something for you. So netbooks, I give a thumbs up to if you're in the market for that. 
uh, check out the Lenovo IdeaPad. It's a great netbook. Thanks for watching.